the observance of your commandments, may we rise in joyfulness of soul to glorify your goodness, offering supplications to your tender love for our own sins and those of all your people. By the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos, visit us in your mercy. That's someone new. Going to church, receiving the sacraments, receiving the having coming for confession, and worshiping and eating kind of camp food, and playing out in swimming pools, playing out in pools, playing out in big swings. All those things are things that you can do in many places. What you can't do in any other place is to come together as a group. Okay? That's what I want you to remember this evening. I know we're going to go have a little chit chat after dinner. But I want you to remember that. That's what's so special and unique here. You get to meet all these other people from different countries. <laughs> Constantine the Great moved the capital city to what is now Constantinople. Okay, he moved to Byzantium, the city, and then he moved then Constantinople. It's renamed the area. When he did that, something unusual happened because the church was now free. Now you could have a gathering. You know, in the old, in the first couple hundred years, how many people could you, how many people could you have at a church service at one time? Maybe 10, 12. That's all that would fit in the house. That's all there was. You couldn't have open church meetings. But once the church was allowed to be free, then we began growing. Now you stop and think. If you're all coming to the church, and if the person, if the bishop, who's supposed to be caring for everybody, has children and has a family, who do you think he's going to take care of first? Children. That's why they stopped that. So that the bishop is only going to be concerned about everybody. That's the goal, is for the bishop to be concerned about everybody.